good. Well, good morning. Good morning. Where are they going? <laughs> they just sing and leave, huh? Oh, they got testing, huh? Well, we got a superintendent here. We got school board members here. Super, the other superintendent here in the county. Let's get rid of some testing. Let's bring him back in here a little bit. Um, my name is John Bell, and I have the distinct pleasure of representing you in the North Carolina General Assembly. Uh, not only do I get to represent you, but I live right down the road here. Um, my my father-in-law is uh, Joe Gurley, who's an alumni of Rosewood High School, our county commissioner. My wife uh, is an alumni of Rosewood High School. Of course, I do remind her I went North Duplin and we didn't lose when we came over here. But uh, <laughs> but a lot of things have changed since then. Now y'all tend to wear everybody out. So, so y'all y'all got a great great athletic reputation here at Rosewood, and very proud of. Uh, of, of what y'all do, but uh, today uh, we were we were going to stop by and just recognize the accomplishments that that you you've done. Uh, you know, it's just one thing to to go and uh, and you know win a match or two. It's one thing to make the playoffs, but when you uh, get labeled as champion, state champion, is pretty something special. And so, it had the consistency that this program has had over the years is really something impressive. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really want to put that belt on. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, but but we're we're just so proud of you, and we got a couple uh, gifts and per, um, little presentation we want to make. But before that, I uh, got a special uh, gentleman with us today. Uh, our state superintendent uh, Mark Johnson is here with us today, and he's uh, traveling with me this morning. And we started off at Prince Elementary in Johnston County and came over here. And uh, this gentleman was elected by our state to to serve as our state superintendent, and has done an outstanding job. And, and it's a pleasure to have you here today. And, yeah, I'll let you turn the podium and then we'll make some presentations. So glad you're here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. And I, I, I kind of feel like they just did like a mic drop and then just like <laughs> left. Um, but, but that's okay. They're, they're a tough act to follow. So I'm glad, I'm glad they're not here to see uh, what I ramble on about. Uh, I just, again, you know, Representative Bell invited us and uh, Superintendent Dunsmore, so happy to be here. Uh, heard about the great accomplishments and really just wanted to bring the message to you all uh, that if you put in even half the effort that it took you to get to, to this level in wrestling into your schoolwork and what you do after school, you're going to be successful. And when I say you're going to be successful, it doesn't mean you have to go to a four-year college. It can be through the military. It can be through uh, any kind of post-secondary training program that you, you decide. Uh, the economy is doing really well here in North Carolina, thanks to the work of Representative John Bell and his colleagues. Uh, and one example I love to always uh, tell students when we're in high schools, uh, there's a job called being a power lineman. And being a power lineman is a tough job. You've got to work outdoors. You, you have to work long hours. But right now, uh, they're in demand. You, know, you could walk out of high school right now, get some extra certification, and you could become a power lineman. And power linemen, after a few years on the job, n no joking, they make $100,000 a year. $100,000 a year because when you see these big storms that just came through last night, you know, you know those power linemen are heading into the storm, and they're working hard hours, and they're working a tough job, but they're making, they're making a, a, a really good salary, and they're, they're bringing that home. And, and uh, I just want you to know that whatever path you see yourself going on, the hard work you're putting into this, put that hard work into that path as well and you'll be successful. And we're really proud of you all and all the hard work and uh, really thank the leadership that it takes, the coaching, the leadership from your principal and the school district. Uh, it really, I can tell this is a great school culture and really excited to be able to walk around the school a little bit and see that. So uh, without that, I'll, I'll let you all get to the, the presentations. So uh, I'd like for uh, Jeff Strickland, uh, Commissioner Gurley, uh, Superintendent Dunsmore, come on, come on, come on up here. Karen, come on, come on up here. Um, I'd like for you to join in with us. Uh, first of all, we have a certificate of acknowledgement, uh, and I, I'll just read it out to you. It says, uh, North Carolina House of Representatives Certificate of Acknowledgement and Congratulations. Whereas the Eagles of Rosewood High School wrestling team have exhibited outstanding leadership in an effort to achieve an excellence in 2018 season. And whereas the Eagles led the team, whereas the Eagles led the team of North Carolina 1A state championship title by defeating New Charter Holmes 
this, this, this writing is really fancy. Is that you, 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 you're already for charter, and, and, and Robin's going to playoffs yeah, in contention. <laughs> and whereas the team members and the coaching staff of Rosewood High School are to be congratulated for a remarkable 52-3 and three state championship season and making the Eagle Nation proud. And there, therefore, the 16th day of April in the year 2018, Representative John R. Bell, the House Majority Leader, extends sincere congratulations to the 2018 Rosewood High School State Champion Wrestling Team on the occasion of his outstanding 2018 season. Congratulations. <laughs> so, Coach Edmonton, you can, you, you, you can come up here and receive this on, on behalf of the team. Uh, also, um, we'd like to present this. Uh, North Carolina House Representatives uh, at 2018 High School State Champion Wrestling Team. I want to give you that because this goes with this right here. That uh, this flag actually flew over our state capitol here in North Carolina in honor of you and the hard work that you've done. And so I want to give that to you as well. And just say thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Uh, Y'all made our community so proud. So I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, not only did the, you get the media coverage, but uh, I follow you through social media. Because <laughs> so, so, you, know? you have a coach that's telling you play by play what's going on and when he... He doesn't respond, and then people go, "What's next? What's going on next?" And so, so I, I got to follow your whole season through Facebook and and Twitter and, and other news outlets. But, but, man, man, what an impressive group of young men and women! What an impressive group of student athletes! And I know you're going to do great things in the future. And thank you so much for making uh, our community very, very proud. Coach, I'll let you sure. floor is yours to say anything you want to say. And we, I found out last week that uh, that you're going to be retiring, and. Um, Man, what a run. What a, what a run. Appreciate it. Lift up that belt. Put it on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. I think she's huge. Like, that's nice. Body slam. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is all. There you go. Come on, Mark. Get your son. Get your son. Get your son. Hey. Woo. You got that. That's it right there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Thank you for winning this so I get to do this. <laughs> y'all did, did the hard work. I just showed up. Thank y'all. Fantastic. Congratulations. All right. Um, I, all I would like to say is, is thanks for all, all of you coming in and, and um, recognizing the work these guys have put in. Um, as I am retiring. Um, 31 years at this school in the same room for 31 years. That's a long time. Uh, 26 years we started a wrestling program. Um, but these, these gentlemen right here have, have really, and ladies, have, have done the job. They, they've uh, gone beyond. And to finish up the season at, at 52 and 3 and two time state champions is, is unbelievable. And we certainly appreciate all the recognition that you guys have given us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I invite y'all to, to, to come to Raleigh. And just so you know, we do have a program in the General Assembly called the PAGE program. And, and I invite each one of you to participate in that of your high school career because you're the type of young men and women that we look forward to serving as leadership positions. So thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you will do. And thank you so much for making our community proud. Thank y'all. Thank you again for everybody coming. It was an honor to have uh, State Superintendent um, Superintendent Mark Johnson with us and Representative John Bell. Thank you very much for recognizing these guys. I will say that um, I don't want the other coaches to know I've said this, but this team is is the definition of team. To see these guys in the weight room, in the wrestling room, on the mats, cheering each other on. Um, I, I always have said I want to take this group and Coach Ed, um, Coach Hardy, and Coach Kilpatrick to Vegas because you should watch them play the numbers on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> they have it down to a T where we're going to finish. Um, and I think that helps drive these boys and these girls. And, and, I, and I just can't say enough for what the coaches have done for this team. Um, and uh, Coach Edmondson is going to be missed very much and, and we're sad to hear that but but we will move on <laughs> thank you again thank y'all
understand you were supposed to say to my kids came through, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.